Hello and welcome to episode 8 of Mac Minute. I'm Mike Myers and this week we're going to talk about gestures. Apple has built into its Mac operating system and hardware the ability for shortcuts just using your fingers and certain gestures that you do on either the touchpad or on the back of the mouse even for that matter. And today we're going to talk about what they are and it's actually built right into the Mac, teaches you how to use them as well. Most people just don't even know it's there. We're just going to show you where it's at and get you started on the gestures. So here's how we get started. We need to go up to the Apple menu and then go to System Preferences. And I'm going to hop out of the way here. Oh, wrong direction. And System Preferences. We want to go into first, let's just do trackpad first. Now I have a trackpad and I'm going to show you right here. You see the little video and it says swipe between pages and it tells you exactly what to do. And you can actually pick some different things in here as well. And swipe between full screen apps, which we haven't talked about full screen apps yet. That's still a future episode. And Notification Center, which is next week's episode, we're going to talk about Notification Center and how you use Notification Center. And you can see here's Mission Control, three fingers up. So if I own, if I own my pad, go three fingers up just like this, Mission Control comes up. So that's a gesture. We can also do uh, App Expose, which on a Mac, this is the Expose, which doesn't work as well as, as Mission Control does, but it's uh, something very similar to Mission Control. You see Launchpad, so this is you pinch your thumb and three fingers. So you just pinch like this, I'm gonna go like that, and there it is, it comes right up on the screen. So let's get out of this. And then if you, the other one is Show Desktop, and that's the opposite way of the, the Launchpad, you go like this. So let's go like that, and gone. So you see your desktop back. There's also uh, scrolling and zooming. If you have, take two fingers, and you can do pinch and zoom, which I can't do that, I'm not on a picture, so I can't really do that. There's smart zoom, so if you double tap with two fingers, like this, uh, it basically zooms in on the web page that you're on or whatever you're on. And if the application allows it, you can even rotate the pictures as well. Like, I can't do that where I'm at right now. And then the point and click gestures, you have the one click, which we've turned on on week one. At least I recommend you turn it on. For me, I definitely have to have it on. And then the secondary click is two fingers, just tapping, just like that, one tap. And if you take three fingers and you're on a word, like in Safari, take three fingers, tap it, and it'll go look up the dictionary definition of the word. And the other one, which I'm going to turn on because I actually do use this, but I didn't talk about it on week one, is the three finger drag. And what that allows me to do is with the pad, come here, and instead of tapping and holding, I can just take three fingers, just like this, and move it wherever I want, just like that. So that's the trackpad gestures. There's a lot of them, and I actually get used to using them. And you go to another machine that doesn't have gestures, I'll go to somebody's Windows machine, something like that, and I just get frustrated because I can't do what I want to do. So you do get used to them, and you tend to rely on them. Okay, we're going to talk about the mouse gestures. There are gestures on the back of this mouse, and this mouse has no physical buttons on the back, but this top area is like a trackpad, and it, it knows what you're doing on the top. So in our first one, we uh, turned off the scroll direction. Secondary click, it really does have a right mouse button. It knows when you put your finger here and you push down, you want this at the right mouse button. There's also a smart zoom, just like on the other one, double click on a web page, and it brings it in. But they've also gone beyond this and used other as, as well. So I don't have any full screen apps open at the moment to show you this, but you can take and switch between full screen apps. If I want to get the mission control on the pad, we went like this to bring in the mission control. Here you can take two fingers, tap, bring up mission control. And if you have something that's multiple pages, say you're on uh, a browser or something like that, you can come up here and you can see that if you have multiple tabs or when you go back and forward in pages, you just swipe between your fingers between it. So that's gestures. That's something that's very easy to use on a Mac. Um, it takes a little bit of getting used to, but after you start using it, it's just second nature. You don't even think about it anymore. It's just it's like an extension to your hand, which is I think what they intended it to be, something very simple to use like that. So that's gestures. That's it for the week. That's our Mac Minute this week. Uh, I don't know if we did it in a minute or not, but we probably did it pretty close. Next week, we're going to talk about notifications. Uh, come, please, comment. We love the comments. We're getting more and more of them. This community is really starting to grow, and we love that. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Pass it around, share it with people, uh, talk about us on Facebook, whatever. Talk to your friends, people, the other people that use Macs. You know, we hope to be a good resource for anybody who's just learning a Mac. And if you're using us on a podcast or something like that, like on iTunes, please subscribe. Get the updates all automatically. 
and we have uh, feeds for your phone, your tablets, your computer, your, even your big screen TV in your living room. We have feeds for all that. We'll see you again next week when we talk about notifications.